Well, welcome everyone. Thank you so much for taking time to show up today and learn about the September Dynamics Con event. I mean, consider yourselves like the first to see and know all the great details that are oh, coming up. <laughs> so as Liz had mentioned, if you could put yourself on mute, that would be wonderful. Um, but of course, if you have a question, we're monitoring the chat. And if you'd like to come off mute and ask the question, you're welcome to do so too. Otherwise, we ask that you just stay on mute so we minimize the background noise. And then before we get started, I thought we'd do just a couple um, team introductions here. So um, uh, Liz, Helen is with us. She's on camera. Liz, do you want to wave? She's one of our user group directors. Uh, Rich Bellavo also here, another one of our directors. You want to wave, Rich, and say I hi? I sure can. I'm going to chime in so my 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 camera comes up on the screen for y'all. <laughs> awesome, awesome. And I believe I just saw Jake Roder come in. Jake, if you want to say hi, you can, or we'll just say hi for you. <laughs> there we go. Hi, Jake. I see John as well. Oh, hi, John. John Stipula, our hey guys as well. Hey, John. How Thanks for you? joining. <laughs> yep. Good morning. And of course, I'm Molly Fuchel. For those of you that don't know me, uh, user group director as well. And I'm excited to kick off our informational session about DynamicsCon. So before I share my screen, I just wanted to give a little recap of where we were for the March event and then talk about as we're going to transition into the fall dynamics con event so the march event our spring event uh feels like it was just a couple days ago but it was actually almost two months ago now so many of these names i see on this call today participated in some way so thank you for being a part of this journey with doug and we are so so proud to say that we had 8700 people registered for the spring event and that was quite an increase over our very first event, which was 6,650 registrants. So we are continuing to grow. And as we transition into the September event, we're excited to show you today some different updates and changes that we've made to kind of say, we're listening. We hear you community and we're here to deliver and that's our style and it always has been. Uh, so we are targeting 11,000 people for our September event. That's right, we're hitting over the 10,000 person registrant threshold. That's the goal and we think we are going to make it. So we're very excited and again, all because of the people on this call today that helped make that possible for us. So um, as we, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and Liz, if you just want to let me know when you can see it. You should see it now. Not yet. Not yet. Coming. Always good. Yep. Wait for it. <laughs> All right. How about now? There you go. Perfect. Got it. So great. So as we jump into fall, September 20, 20th through the 23rd. So again, September 20th through the 23rd of this year will be the official Dynamics Con dates. Now, four days, that's, that's a commitment, right? So we do have a four day event. However, we really heard the community. We, we've all been participating um, either a lot or a little in virtual events. That's the world that we're in right now as we're still working through transitions. But we've also been hearing the community say there is some of that event fatigue going on. So to best hear you and, and deliver and execute accordingly, we are doing four half days for our DynamicsCon event. And those half days will run from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday through Thursday that week. So that allows you to still acclimate to possibly a work uh, a work environment transition you might be going through in the fall if you're transitioning back to an in-office environment um, or if we unfortunately face anything like we've seen last fall with um, any disruptions with the pandemic and school and kids at home this allows you to still balance your work days and be participating in dynamics con for part of your day but still not get too far behind with your inboxes and everything else around you and your environment in that in those same days so again september 20th through the 23rd 9 a.m to 1 p.m eastern standard time so a few other things that i i'm just going to kind of go ahead and talk through uh today 
the differences of what you'll see between the March event and our upcoming September event. And then we'll talk about the things that are staying the same. So let's start with the website, dynamicscon.com. Uh, I hope you all enjoy the lovely color updates we've made. We've made some refreshing looks and graphics for you all, because of course that is one thing that matters a lot to us is that it looks and feels really cool and really fun. So we do have some refreshed uh, looks on our pages, which we're excited for you to see. And I will go into more details of what launches Monday, but you will actually see the website launching with our refreshed look on Monday, May 10th. So coming up next week. So I'm going to go ahead and just show you for those of you that have missed the Dynamics Con website for a little bit. Um, many of the functionalities are the same, so many of the things that have been housed on the Dynamics Con website in the past will continue to be on here again. Those things include registration, session submissions, sponsors, our gear up store, <laughs> voting, and I think those are the main things, of course, that you would use the page for, but all of those will continue to be housed on dynamicscon.com. Um, one thing that we've uh, done a we've done two different ways now with our two different events would be our would be our event platform. So during the first event, we actually housed the streaming in the chat on dynamicscon.com. Uh, for the second event, again, uh, really hearing the community and what they were looking for and hoping to achieve from the event, we decided to use the platform called Brella for the March event. We thought. Um, Overall, for an event platform in comparison to many of the others that have been out there, it was really good and it served our community very well. So we have made the decision to use Brella again for the September event. So um, we're excited because that's something that I think a lot of you that have participated again in our March event, you became accustomed to and used to that process. So we're excited that um, once we roll out the agenda, we will actually be uh, rolling out Brella as well for you to dive in and get acclimated again with that environment. Um, and so we'll talk about that a little bit more as well. So the next thing I'm going to go ahead and talk about is registration. So something that was important to us and to be mindful to all of you and your <laughs> valuable time was our registration process. So again, some of you have been very wonderful superheroes with us since day one and now this is the third event that you'll be uh, participating in in less than one year so from a registration perspective and so we want to be mindful to the fact that you you've given us all of your wonderful registration information a few times now um, so one thing that we have implemented i'm actually gonna just click my logout button here is we have more of a, a simple sign in process for you. So for those of you and many of you have participated before, you'll click on this register or sign in button and all you have to do is put in your email. And if you're in our system, we're going to find you right away, which is great. You're going to go ahead and click verify. It'll give you the message. Congratulations, you're already in. You don't have to do all the things. <laughs> and then you'll pop right into the website right now. Um, I forgot to mention this is our development website, so we will have some slight changes that will look different come Monday. We're working out those final edits on things. So if you see things slightly different come Monday, that's because we're still finishing doing the finishing touches right now. So hopefully you all appreciate the simple sign in process if you've participated and registered for our events in the past. Um, this allows you then to get to uh, just to get into the website and participate in the different elements a little bit faster. So I'm going to go ahead and actually jump to the session submission process because we do have some differences in this process and I want to spend a little time here with all of you today. I'll make this a little bit bigger so we can see it. Um, so the first thing I want to just call out um, very similarly to what I said about you're already in our system. You've already put in all of your information. Well, we wanted to carry that through in the submit a session process as well. So the way that we used to have this is we would kind of re ask for all of that information again, your name, first name, last name, company name, email, all of all of the things. Well, again, we want to make this a better user experience for all of you. So 
once you verify your email, if you are already in our system, you will provide that and you have already provided that information and we just need to know about the session details. Now we just jump right to the session details and you don't have to spend time filling out your basic uh, user identity information. Um, now, if you are new to DynamicsCon, welcome. We're so happy to have you on this call. Um, all you will do is put all the registration information in and then when you if you're interested in submitting a session with us, you will then not have to repeat putting your first name, last name, company name, email, so on and so forth all in again. Um, so we're trying to just make this easier for all of you. So as you can see, we have um, put some parameters in place for submitting a session and I want to spend some time on these elements. I'll make this bigger in case anyone can't see it um, because I think these are important things to call out um, and again we're just finishing some touches on this um, the way that it's laid out and everything so if you see it slightly different on Monday that's because you're getting the sneak peek right now. So first, Molly, Molly yeah if Please, I could just I jump just in jump real in quick, real quick. Um, I um, wanted I to reiterate, reiterate that this is the, is the development, development website, website. Yes. so nobody so, needs to do anything right now um, yes. and everybody should wait for Monday when our live website has all of this great information. Yes, thank you Liz and we all uh, be a little bit more mindful to mention that as well to everyone. So if you're going on Dynamics Con right now and saying why don't I see what Molly's showing, this is our development site again and this will be launching on Monday so you're all getting the sneak peek. So you can see here we have um, some different parameters in place for submitting a session. The first thing being that an individual is allowed to submit up to two sessions that can be um, across one or two, you know, one or two tracks. Um, so you have two sessions total per individual. The number of session submissions by company, there is no maximum for the number of session submissions per company. We will have on the um, I'm going to just jump back to the individual session submissions again being two sessions per individual. On the final conference agenda, similarly to the previous event, one speaker can present one time. So we'll have one speaker can present one time. So as an individual, you will get one session onto the conference agenda. That has actually been a rule that's been in place since our first Dynamics Con, and that is for us to really give that speaking opportunity to as many people as possible. So one speaker on the final conference agenda can have one session. For the company, again, the company can submit as many sessions as they would like. On the final conference agenda per company, you can have one session per track per company. So I'll say that again, because I know that's very wordy. Uh, there is no maximum number of session submissions per company, and we encourage you to really put forth your best sessions as a company. And then on the final conference agenda, you will have up to one session per track per company. So we have five tracks total at DynamicsCon again, just like the September event. I'll go through those just really quickly for anyone that is new. We have Business Central, Customer Engagement, Dynamics GP, Finance and Operations, and Power Platform. So five tracks total. Then uh, you will have a um, one thing to note here that's very, very important is we are changing the um, we are changing the way that we do the recording process. So this was probably the biggest change that we have for session submissions, and we really want to make sure that we're transparent from the beginning. And this process is saying that if you are submitting a session, you are agreeing to also doing the recording yourself. Now that's very different in the past. We of course have used our AV production company to do the recordings. And for right now, um, and this was a financial decision to be very honest with this group, uh, right now we are saying that we would we would set the expectation up and ahead of time as you're submitting the session that you will record the session yourself. That includes your screen, your audio, and your video. And then we will go ahead and take that recording once you have looked at it, edited it, made it the best that it can be for you. Then we will take that recording and we will put it into the conference agenda should your session get selected and voted in. Now, 
we really want to be mindful and conscientious of all of you who have participated participated in our session submission and voting and conference, you know, getting onto the conference agenda process before. So we will absolutely provide guidance in this process. We will provide helpful resources to you if you do get voted into the conference. We don't want you to feel as though we've um, kind of left you in the dark. We are here and our, our, it's very important to us to always be communicating and always be helpful to community members. So we will absolutely help you and provide resources to how to uh, on how to accomplish this task. I will make one comment as well that should we see really great, um, a really great increase in our sponsorship uh, revenue and, and things like that, this process could alter. We could possibly look at um, look, we could look at offering the recording and doing that with you like we've done previously. But for now, again, for the financial stability of the company and as we move forward, we are asking speakers to agree to to submit a recorded session that they do on their own. And again, we will provide guidance and helpful resources for those of you that are a little less familiar with that process. OK, so. Your content, of course, must be educational. This is not anything new. Um, you can, of course, make references to products that have been helpful to you as you're educating the audience, but these uh, these presentations are educational in nature, and they will be uh, placed on the Dynamics Con presentation deck again, like we've had in the past, so that's not anything new. And then there's two new things that we wanted to highlight in more of a special way this time. So last event, we had uh, guaranteed 25% of our conference slots, our conference agenda slots to new presenters. So new presenters in this space that haven't had much speaking experience or, or any speaking experience for the products. And we wanted to give them that opportunity and give them a place to have that opportunity at DynamicsCon. So at this event, we're calling that the rookie speaker. So we are reserving 20% of our conference agenda for a rookie speaker. And that is defined, as you can see, as someone who is new to speaking in the business, uh, the Microsoft Business Application community. So not just DynamicsCon, but you are new to presenting on the products in the community. So if you are new, and again, and welcome if you're a new presenter. Thanks for coming to the call. Uh, then you will mark that as your badge and we'll show you what the badge looks like on the session cards in a little bit. And then the new badge that we added is called the premiering content badge. So what that is, is that saying you are, um, and this is an option, both the rookie uh, checkbox and the premiering content checkbox are options here. And basically what that is saying is you are agreeing to give us first time exclusive content at DynamicsCon. And we want to really praise that because it's a lot of work for you as a potential presenter at our event to produce a brand new session, brand new content. So um, if you are willing to do that at our conference and have unique and new fresh content at DynamicsCon, we give you a little extra love for that because that's that's awesome and we would love that and we would love to encourage it. Um, as we all know, with so many virtual conferences, sometimes we do tend to see a little bit of some similar sessions presented and we, we always want to encourage people to really think outside the box play on our superhero theme and have fun with it and produce something new for the community. So if you're willing to do that at DynamicsCon, we also want to call that out as well. So that's mainly the things I wanted to cover on the session submission form for those of you that are interested in submitting a session with us. I'm going to go ahead and keep going here. Um, let's see. So Molly, I'm going to be covering the dates as well. I will. Yes, I will. Yep. Thank you for um, thank you for asking. I will put those dates actually in the chat. Actually, Liz, um, I'll get those actually in just a little bit. I did have them, so I'll get those in just a moment for us. I'll, when I'm I done can add them quick too. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you. So the next thing I'm going to do is pop over to the submitted sessions. I just want to show you the the as you can see graphically, we've got a little bit of a update and jazziness to our colors. And I want to go ahead and look at the session cards. So um, again, like we were just talking about that 
rookie speaker we've got a badge there for that and the premiering content we have a badge for that so if you select one or you happen to uh, be someone that both badges qualify for make sure you check that on your session submission and we will go ahead and give you a special little extra nudge for that um, what's missing right here and again i will call this out this is our development website though so this is not in live production so if you are on dynamicscon.com you will not see this until monday may 10th so if you could go ahead and um, just stay tuned to actually see this and be able to interact with it until next week, you're getting the sneak peek today. Um, so what you will see also on these cards is the social handles. Social is our gig. We love social media. We love marketing. So we always want to be able to make it easy for you as potential speakers at DynamicsCon to promote your session. So you will see the social handles here. One thing you'll notice is these session cards in size are smaller than you've seen in the past. And that is honestly because we made, there's two here, there'll be a third one here across. So there is a little bit less scrolling effort involved. We, <laughs> we heard a lot of feedback that, as an example, the last event we had 300, no, 462 session submissions across the conference. That's a lot of scrolling. So we heard you loud and clear. So we tried to really adapt to our volume and anticipation of volume again. Um, so we'll have three rows. The cards are smaller in size, both vertically and horizontally. So it's a little less scrolling action for you all. Um, and that will come into play, of course, for voting. And um, Liz is gonna go ahead and put the dates in the chat. Thank you for that, Liz. For voting, I'll just make the comment that we will you will have up to 12 votes once we open voting and um, you we encourage you to use all of those votes. Take the time, look at the sessions and pick your top 12. Now, if you go ahead and search. Uh, if you go ahead and search someone's name, I apologize again, this is our dev site. You should be seeing the product as well listed. So, yep, there it is. So we're working on that too, just making that a little bit more visible because I know some of you um, definitely sub will submit across different tracks and we wanna make sure that the submitters see that as well. Otherwise, um, another thing that I will point out, of course, is our sponsors. So I want to just make reference quick. Oh, you know what? I'm, I apologize. I want to go through one thing quick, just in case anyone's new to this. So again, our sessions are all voted on by the community. Liz will put those dates in when voting opens. I believe it's Ju July 12th. So I'll, I'll go ahead and verbalize the, the dates. We'll see how good my memory here is, Liz. Um, so session submissions open on May 10th, which is Monday. We will accept session submissions until July 9th. But of course, the earlier you get your session submitted, the longer it's on our website, the more visibility it has, the more people can see it, read your uh, full session details, the more you can share it on social media, the sooner the better. So again, session submissions open on May 10th and they close on July 9th. Then on July 12th, which is a Monday, we will open voting. And this is where you will go to cast your votes. So you don't see it today because voting is not active yet, but there will be a vote button very similarly to our previous events on each session card. And then you will go ahead and be able to vote on your favorite sessions. And one note here, um, you see up to about 300 characters of the session submission on the cards. But of course, if you go into full details, you will see the complete session description. So we have a max character limit of 600 characters, I believe, for session submissions, but um, and we really encourage people to use that. Really give some good details as to what your session is. The more details you have, the, the better chances you have of obtaining those votes. So um, I would just again recommend if anyone on this call is interested in submitting a session, please go ahead and spend some time on that session description. It really just helps people better understand what you're going to be educating them on. Um, so yes, voting, Liz, if I'm not mistaken, opens on July 12th and then closes on July 28th. So we have about a week and a half of voting being open. And then right now we are targeting for Brella and the agenda to be published and launched on August 2nd. You have a very, a good, very memory, good memory, Molly. Those are the exact dates. <laughs> <I think. laughs> perfect, 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 perfect. Um, okay, 
So I'm just going to go ahead quickly and jump to the sponsor page, calling out our sponsors. They are what make this possible. They make this tick. They make all of this happen for us. So thank you to the sponsors. I believe we even have a couple on this call. So thank you for joining. Um, again, this is our development site. So this is just testing, but this will be where you see our sponsors. Of course, um, what's not changing from the last event is all of those great sponsor details. So if you are at all interested in hearing more about a sponsor, we are actually really going to utilize these pages that we created last time and we're you'll see a full build out per sponsor of very you know various details way to contact them information on their products and services and some of them even do some fun giveaways so i would highly recommend checking out the sponsor images just by clicking on the sponsor logo you will be able to access their full sponsor pages so I think that is a lot of the details I wanted to go over as it pertains to the um, fall event coming up. So the September Dynamics Con event. There's one additional thing that I did not cover that I do want to make sure that we um, just cover for this group. As of right now, um, again, the financial decision was made that we will not be compensating speakers for the September event. Now, should we uh, really do well with sponsorship, that it's definitely something we would consider changing where we do go back to compensating our speakers because we absolutely value your time, your resources, your knowledge and your talent. And so I just wanted to make sure um, and we always try to be very transparent at Doug that at this point we are not planning to compensate speakers, but of course we will highlight you and and support you and celebrate you in all the other ways possible. So we really commit to that. It's important to us and you are important to us. So I will go ahead and pause there, Liz, if you want to share any questions that we're getting in the chat or anything that you saw as a routine question or comment that we can discuss. I do not see any questions in the chat and I'm sorry. I have some sort of echo. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, I don't hear it, so that's great. Oh, good. Yes. Well, we are good. I'm glad that I got through a majority of that in, in good time, um, but we are here to take questions uh, to just have any conversation around the September event. If there's anything I can highlight again, um, I'm happy to go through it. Again, right now you were looking at my screen in the development environment, our development website. So this is not live. This will be live on Monday, May 10th, along with session submissions opening. Any questions? One question just came through. Will you be providing specs for the recordings? Specs for the recordings. So um, if I'm understanding the question correctly, I will definitely go back to that. Um, I would just assume when I hear the word specs, I'm going to say yes, because we want to provide you as much information as detail to make the recording a success for you. So yes, we will provide specs. We will provide um, recommendations recommendations for the tools to use. Um, we, we are here for you. We know this is a different way to do it versus the two previous events. So we will absolutely provide all the details so you feel comfortable and in doing that process and getting us that recording file. Great. Yes, question. I think that's exactly what the question was. I think, it, you know, when I think of specs, it's more of a what file formats. Um, do you have to have a certain DPI level exactly. you know, kind of those those yeah. technical specifications? Yep, absolutely. We sure will. Very important. We want it to be the best it can be for you because I mean, 11,000 people were hope, we're hoping to see 11,000 people and we they're all going to see your session. So we want it to be great. We want it to be great for you. Great question. Other questions? Well, I oh, go ahead, one more Liz. question. Um, will there still be um, live Q&A? Great question. So let's uh, let's talk about Brella a little bit more. I, I appreciate that because we've kind of dove into the details of the website and the dates coming up, but let's talk about the actual event. So yes, it is in Brella. 
Yes, we are doing live Q&A uh, with our timetable of 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time all four days. Our schedule will look slightly different in the, the layout, um, but it'll be the same each day, so there'll be a nice rhythm and routine. But we do um, definitely plan on having a live Q&A, um, and we really encourage all speakers to participate. Have a moderator if that makes you feel more comfortable, so that process will be the same. Uh, with the exception of sponsors, they do have the option to have a live Q&A or not have a live Q&A. Um, but all of the educational sessions, we definitely would love to see that again. It's just the, the human connection part of our conference that's been so wonderful. So yes, we will definitely be bringing that back. Awesome. Another great question from Dave, wanting to know how many sessions per track per time slot. Per track per time slot. So there are going to be, let me just do the math here. I believe it is 12 educational sessions per track. One, one right? One but only one per, per oh, time slot. Time. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I misheard the question. Okay. Yes, one session per track playing at a time with all five tracks running congruently. So very similar to what you would have seen last time in that it is a, a living broadcast stream. Um, it's just a continuous stream with one session per track. Yes. Uh, another great question from Jessica. If sessions are approved, will speakers receive the attendee list? If sessions are approval, speakers receive the attendee list. It is only, um, we are only fulfilling that for our sponsors at this time. So our, our platinum sponsors who have a session on the agenda will receive the attendee list for their sponsored session. Great question. But not for any of the educational sessions that are voted onto the agenda. Yes. Right. Great questions. Mm -hmm. What other questions do we have? Not seeing any others at this point. I'm going to jump back and see your faces quick. <laughs> awesome. Um, Is, and oh, one more from Jessica, sorry. Is yeah. there a limit to how many sessions we can submit? It is, yes, thank you, Jessica, for asking that. Um, and we did record this, so if you happen to jump on late, I did hear a couple pings come in late. Thank you for joining yep. us. Never late, always just on time for you. That's what I say. So um, we did record this too, if you did miss any of these details. But per individual, it is uh, the submission is up to two sessions per individual. Great question. else and I, I will just comment too we didn't touch a lot on Brella in this because I think Brella is a little ways out for us coming up in August so we will absolutely probably do more of these calls and one concentrated on Brella because I think Brella is always it's great to know we're using the same tool but it's also nice to have a refresh so you can count on us doing a little refresher course with Brella um, right before probably we introduce the Brella platform with the agenda rolling out in early August. So that's August 2nd is our target date. So we'll go through that in more detail too, just for a nice refresher for everyone. Molly, since um, I, we did have quite a few people jump on a little bit later, um, yes. I just want to, I think it's important maybe just to cover our our um, guidelines again for the submissions sure. and the voting. Yeah. So yes, two yeah. sessions per speaker, but there is no limit for the number of submissions per company. Correct. However, the final agenda with the voted sessions, the top voted sessions, we will only allow one session per company per track. Correct. Yes. And only one session per speaker on the final agenda. Yes. And one thing to call out to just in case you missed this piece is the, the change with the submission, su the session submission process is you are also agreeing to record your session for the event. So recording your screen, video and audio for us, editing it, 
so you feel really confident about the file and then giving us that file to use for the conference. Um, and again, we will provide uh, specs, resources, recommended tools, and really help guide you through that process. We don't want you to feel as though you don't have a, a good setup for success. We want your session to be great. And so we will definitely commit to offering lots of details to help you through that process. Awesome. Great questions. All right. Well, Liz, I think that's the end of them. So I, I want to be respectful of everyone's time. Uh, we did record this session today, so we'll put it up on our YouTube channel uh, so you can all watch it again. <laughs> Um, and if um, if you have more questions, we are here and we will be here till we get through all the questions and happy to talk about anything else in or outside of Dynamics Con. Um, if you want to have any conversations around Dynamics User Group as a whole, uh, we are absolutely here too to take any of those questions at this time as well. Otherwise, thank you so much everyone for coming today and taking time to hear about the September Dynamics Con event. We're so excited to have you back and have a great rest of your day.